Our first port of call was the Gambia Armed Forces, where we met the Brigadier General and other colonels. They delved into hosts of issues about their work and the motive behind their success. I am Fatou Matasimaha. <laughs> After many years of attention to gender matters and women empowerment in the Gambia, there are important achievements across the Gambia Armed Forces. There is much greater awareness of women empowerment as a means to advance development and educational issues as it was in the past. Women continue to greatly increase their attainment in all walks of life, particularly in the security forces, where the culture of traditionally male-dominated lost energy amid strides attained in gender equity. Ramatulai Dike Sane is the first female brigadier general of the Gambia Armed Forces. She is here with us, her experiences on how she managed to attain such a great position. I am Ramatulai Dike Sane, Gambia's fourth female brigadier general and adjutant general of Gambia Armed Forces. I was enlisted into the Gambia Armed Forces in 1995. How has it been for you working in an environment dominated by men? That was the same way I used to think when I was newly enlisted into the Gambia Armed Forces. However, the reality on the ground is one of cooperative and between the two indispensable partners. We are very cooperative and supportive of each other. What have been the, your challenges as a wife and a mother in the execution of your functions as a senior military officer? It's not easy to satisfy two things at the same time. It is at this juncture that I will deem it fitting and acknowledge with profound appreciation the unreserved support that I continue to enjoy it from both my husband and my parents. Their support, patience, and understanding are the secret behind my success. They understood the nature of my job and stand firmly behind me. Uh, finally, what is your advice to the young girls, especially those who want to join the armed forces? Just to tell them that they are highly welcome to join the Gambia Armed Forces. The Gambia Armed Forces today, compared to its formation days, have witnessed a dramatic turn for the best. The days that the Armed Forces were uh, used to be con was, uh, considered as a place for a school dropout are now in history. It is an equal opportunity organization with a merit reward-based system. Finally, let me take this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia, retired Colonel C. Professor Alhaji Dr. Yaya A.J.J. Jame, for creating the enable environment for women to be in key positions and the entire armed forces command. Women play a critical role in the armed forces and in all facets of development as it guarantees the smooth conduct of human activities, including those undertaken by them. However, women have occupied great seats in the armed forces. They now share with us their goals and how they manage to battle it with their male counterparts. Well, initially, there were no females in the military. It was until 1995 when there was this national call for female recruitment into the armed forces. The first time I had of the information, I was wondering how does it going to look like, like it's already a huge representative of men. But at the same time, it came to my sense that I was in the schools where men formed the majority. So as I was able to make it through the classrooms where men formed the majority, I took it upon me that this time again I think I can go through. So yes. Mm -hmm. um, 
Madam Elizabeth, what really makes you to join the armed forces? Prior to my coming here, I was contributing my own quota in the civil society. But anyway, let me say I was inspired by my colleagues. As I was in school, I was with um, some military officers who were also medical students. We competed together, and then after that, we worked together. So I was inspired. Then during medi uh, medical school also, I was opportune to meet with uh, military officers who taught me, who were professors from Senegal. We had a surgeon, a neurosurgeon who was a military officer, a colonel. We had a hematologist from Senegal. So I told myself, if people of this caliber can be in the armed forces, why not me? I mean, because I believe that the time has come for the Gambia Armed Forces also to improve its human resources. And for that reason, I came. Uh, Madam Sonko, what men can do, a woman can do. What really motivated you to be part of these armed forces? Really, as you said, uh, Fatou, it is true. What a man can do, a woman can do, do it better. So what motivated me to come to the armed forces is that I wanted to uh, see my quota as a citizen of the Gambia. Anyway, it is very hard to work in the midst of uh, men as a woman. As, we, as you know, as my colleague said, Gambia Armed Forces is more of men than women. So really, we, we, are, we really face challenges to come to the standard of men. Initially, when our representation was not too much, it was limited to the administrative part of it. But nowadays, I can say yes, almost. Yes, women are seen on all units of the armed forces. Uh, Mrs. Ellen, Elizabeth, what is the greatest achievement of women in the army? Um, I think that is evident because if you are, you, if 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 you look at us, you find that we have a female general. It's not always that you find female generals in other armies, but here in armed forces we have it, and not only that, in every rank or level there is a woman. So I believe we have achieved a lot. What are some of the challenges you face in the midst of men? Uh, well, Fatmata asks women in a male-dominated institution, there is always this challenge that women are weak and that men can do better than us. So in proving them wrong that we are not weak, they cannot do better than all, all of us is also a challenge. So improving them wrong and keeping our heads hard is always a challenge. It's always a challenge that we overcome. We have made a tremendous achievement by exiling to higher positions in the military. Thank you. And Madam Elizabeth, how have women empowerment benefited the army? Um, so let me say that women empowerment in the armed forces did not only benefit people in the army, but it benefited the society at large. For example, those of us sitting here, we are responsible for families, extended families, and even, you know, society at large. So we, as we are empowered with this and uh, and forces, we are able to earn livings. We are able to meet people outside. We are able also to support um, society, families, our husbands, our children, and so on. So I believe it has really benefited us, okay, and also us. Thank you so much. Do you have any agenda you need in the armed forces? No, as of now, there is no specific gender unit created in the armed forces. But gender issues are inculcated in our oppressors. Yes. Uh, the International Women's Day is celebrated every 8th March. Do you have any plans for the celebration of the day? Uh, 